What's up everyone, my name's Tom and welcome to Techstream. Today, thanks to the guys over at eArma, we're taking a look at their new GB3266 QSU B1. This is one of their new Red Eagle gaming line monitors and, uh, well, let's see what I think of it. So, we'll start off with the tech specs of this thing. It's a 32 inch 16 by 9 res uh, ratio monitor, so it's not an ultra wide, it's a standard size. It's a 1440p monitor. It's uh, quite good. So it is actually curved, which was an interesting one. Um, I've seen a few ultra wide curved. Um, there's actually been a few smaller curved monitors, but 32 inches. This is quite a sort of an odd size for monitors. There's, it's not a common one that you see. But it's a, it's an 1800R curved monitor. It does actually have a VA panel and it is actually 144 hertz with a one millisecond response time. Quite good. So what else does it have? It's got a, a few nifty bits and tricks to it. It's not, I'm not gonna say it's overly gamey when it comes to the aesthetics of it. There's a few bits on the back which we'll have a look at later, but um, it's got a, a bit of a chin on it. It's actually a flat bit in this chin where the logo is. Um, the stickers obviously do come off, but we've got a little bit of a chin but very thin bezels around the top and the sides. And when it comes to the gaming tech side of things, though, it does actually include FreeSync, or the, I think they call it the FreeSync Premium version. So it does actually support HDR as well. When we take a look into the real gaming parts of the monitor, though, it isn't. they say it's got some gaming modes, but it really, uh, if we take a quick look at them, I don't know how well these are gonna show up on the, uh, let's get down to it, it's that one. So there's a little, it's not that one, it's this one. So I've actually got this off now, um, and we can cycle through them. And it's got a few gaming modes in there, a few different ones. All it seems to really do though, is boost the brightness. Um, wasn't massively impressed with the gaming modes and didn't particularly like the look they gave it, for me personally. Um, but overall, the actual screen itself is really, really nice. It's got uh, a good brightness ratio. It's rated at something like 400. Um, static contrast, 3,000 to 1, yeah, is that average. Um, but overall, it's actually a really nice monitor to game with. Uh, the build quality of it is typical Iliama, pretty high standard. Uh, as one of their more expensive gaming monitors, it's got a good range of flexibility. You can actually move the monitor up and down vertically. It does have a decent range of tilt as well. And it does actually allow you to twist. It only twists one way. It literally only goes that way. There's actually a sticker on it somewhere. Where did I see it? Oh, yeah, there is actually a sticker on it that says you can't do that. But it, it does do it a little bit to one way should you need to. Um, it does only go one way, so if you're trying to like correct tilt in like a triple monitor stand, it, you can only do it in one aspect. Slightly strange. Um, but overall, decent monitor stand. It does take a standard Visa 100 by 100 mount. There's no weird bracketry or anything on the back, so you can just fit a standard mount. Even though it is a curved one, it's still a nice flat square plate. The stand and everything, it's all toolless fitting, just a few sort of like thumb screws and things like that to get it there. But yeah, overall, build quality, nice. Um, my desk is what mostly does the wobbling here. Um, it's got a decent selection of inputs on the back, which we will take a look at. And in fact, I'm gonna turn this all off and we'll turn it around so that you can see it. There is one thing to note though. One thing I don't like about it, it uses a power brick. It's just something else that you've got to try and hide and disguise under your desk. It does have a decent length cable on it, and if you're using the included stand, you can route it through this hole at the back here, or as I would probably do, route it up and over the top, otherwise you've got it sort of sticking down here. But it does come with a power brick, which is a bit of a shame. So let's get all this out of the way so I can then just focus on looking at the back of the monitor with you. So we've been through the front, good looking monitor, bit of a chin, um, but good functional stand. It does have, let's say, you have the option to twist, you have up and down motion, 
and you have tilt and you have a sort of half a rotate what it is it it's physically too big on this stand to be able to rotate it a full 90 but i don't know of anybody that would use a curved monitor like this rotated but let's shut this all down and we'll take a look at the back so when we turn it round these are the sort of little gamery they're actually grey sort of like logos that I should said about there that's about the only real gamery bit on it and it's got the G Master logo from Iliana there but if we're taking a look at the connectivity options we've got it split into two sections so on this side of the monitor we've got a USB hub it's got a USB B cable USB 3.0 cable pair of USB uh, connectors here and a pair of USB 2s as well down here and they do actually supply you with a massive range of cables you get the USB cable there's HDMI there's display port there's the power adapter so you've got all the cables that you need to get yourself going they are short but it doesn't mean that you don't have to unless you've got long cables unless you need really long cables they're plenty long enough they're all about three foot in length so plenty of length there to be able to connect it all up and get going straight away you will also notice here Kensington lock so if you're using this in an esports place or an internet cafe or somewhere like that you do have the option to actually lock it Iliam's speciality is business monitors hence things like that get included now if I can just lay this down carefully because it's quite a substantial and heavy monitor um, and we'll actually be able to sort of see the curve that it's got so with this sort of laid down in front of me here so I can show you it uh, like I said now that it's not actually standing up you can actually rotate it all the way around and in fact I think it would actually rotate to 90 in the position that I've got it um, we do have a selection of inputs we've got HDMI we've got display port we've got our AC input we've also got a headphone out because obviously you can uh, put in audio via the HDMI and then we've got our little control knob you saw me having a quick play around with that in the menus earlier um, basically the on off is by pushing it in yeah and then you can cycle through the menus as well selecting inputs whether you just want it in auto or just set to a single if you've got multiple pcs and you don't actually use them so for example i've got a server that's plugged into my main monitor i've got my main monitor set to a single one so that i don't have to worry but it's got a decent little joypad it's better than all the buttons on the bottom that i've seen before there is a blue led indicator here you can turn the led off in the sub menus so that was a good one because i'm not a massive fan of the bright it shines quite bright down on your desk um but that can be turned off as i said standard visa 100 for phillips screws to take that out the base here has just got a single thumb screw in it um and that bit was already pre-mounted so it's relatively simple just screw the base plate on and you're off to the off to the races so to speak so let's get this back up and we'll have some final conclusions so as I did say, I did think it would actually fit that way around, and it does. But what you can't now do is you can't turn it back because it actually interferes. You've got to sort of really flex it around. So you can actually run it in vertical mode should you really want to. Um, but what do I actually think of this monitor? Now, I was a bit sceptical about a 32-inch 16 by my monitor, but it's 1440p. It's got a good refresh rate, 144 hertz, and actually... I grew to really like it because normally I'm not a fan of curved monitors. Um, the ultra wides, fair enough, they do need it. But 16 by 9s, I normally find they're not big enough to need it. This is quite a big monitor. This monitor would be fantastic for things like a sim setup where you're looking for immersion. Um, you can't really run triple ultra wides. Um, a lot of people are now running the 49 inch ultra ultra wides sort of thing this would actually look really good in triples you've got slim bezels so they won't be obvious now you'd get a decent curve rather than having three flat monitors you'd have a decent curve all the way around and yeah i really liked it the build quality on it's great the inbuilt audio yeah it's typical monitor i must admit the 40 inch 4k that i run behind me that's got really good audio but it's a big monitor it's thick it's chunky it's basically it's a tv without a tv tuner so it's got half decent audio this thing on the other hand though it's a bit tinny it would do if you really didn't have either a set of speakers or a decent set of headphones um, but on the whole skip the audio but really nice monitor 
comes with lots of things in the box. Only thing that I don't like about it is that power adapter. It's a great monitor. I've seen them here in the UK for £330. I'll put some links down below, obviously, for you to have a look at it. It's got decent tech specs. It's got a decent selection of inputs. It's got a USB hub, which is always handy. It's Especially if you've got your PC located. Uh, I've got mine now right next to me. But if your PC is in a cupboard or tucked away, it could be awkward to get to them. Having it on your monitor, it's a nice little addition. They're just here on this side at the back here. Easy enough to find. Um, and being able to just turn it, you can always just turn your monitor a little bit to get to it. So there we go. That is the new GB3266 QSUB1. That's a stupidly long name from eArmor. Great monitor. Big thumbs up from me. Yeah. Iliama always seem to produce good monitors. I do find they're always a little bit late to the show when it comes to the gaming things, but when they do come out with them, they do produce something really quite good. And they all seem to do it at quite a good price as well. So there we go, guys. That's about it for today. I'm going to give this a massive thumbs up. I like it. I think we've actually got some more Iliama monitors coming in soon for some more reviews. So if you want to see more of them, including their 34-inch ultra-wide curve that's just come out, Click that subscribe button. If you've liked this video, thumbs up. If you didn't, not a problem. As always, if you want to see more of me, I will be back soon. Thank you very much, and bye for now.